Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word tables can perform simple mathematical functions on data, much like a spreadsheet can. In addition, Word can use data from a linked Excel spreadsheet if your calculations require more processing capability than Word can supply. In order to create a Word table that contains cells that will add, subtract, multiply, or divide numbers, you must insert formulas into the cells where you want to display the answers to the mathematical operations performed by the formula. Formulas are fields that perform calculations on the values contained in other table cells. Formulas always start with an equal sign. They often refer to the cell addresses from which they gather the data used in their calculations. These cell addresses can then be linked together with standard mathematical operators like the plus sign, the minus sign, the multiplication sign, and the division sign, among others. You can also perform functions, like sum, on a range of cells in a table. So a formula might be expressed as equals sum open parenthesis above close parenthesis, which would add the values of all of the cells above the cell into which you had inserted this formula field. So what is a cell address? A cell address is a way of referring to a cell. A cell address is the relative location of a cell in a table. Imagine that there are letters at the top of each column, starting with A at the far left, and then continuing to increase one letter at a time as you move to the right. In addition, imagine that each row has a number assigned to it. The topmost row is row 1. The row numbering then continues downward, increasing by 1 for each new row. The cell address would simply be the column letter followed by the row number. For example, the top left cell in a table is always cell A1. B1 is always to the right of A1. You can see this table with the cell addresses entered into the corresponding cells to help you in seeing the pattern of the cell address naming convention. As stated previously, a cell formula begins with an equal sign and is often followed by the cell addresses of the cells upon which you want to perform the mathematical operations joined together by standard mathematical operators. For example, to add the cells above cell A5 and display the result of the formula in cell A5, you would begin by clicking into cell A5. You could then insert a formula field that would look like either equals sum above or equals a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. Instead of displaying the formula itself within the cell, the cell will then display the answer. Why? Because when you insert a formula field into a cell, Word knows it should display the answer to the formula instead of the actual formula itself. Formulas display their results by default, not their actual contents. Now you will learn how to insert a formula field into a cell. First, click into the cell where you want the answer to be displayed. This is often the cell that is at the end of a continuous column or row of numbers. Next, click the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click the Formula button in the Data button group to open the Formula dialog box. This dialog box is where you actually enter the formula that will then be inserted into the table cell as a formula field. Note that when the formula dialog box opens, Word will try to guess what function it is that you want to perform. For example, if you enter a formula into a cell at the end of a column of continuous numbers, Word assumes you probably want to add the values of the cells in the column above the current cell. Therefore, Word enters the formula equals sum above as the default formula shown in the formula dialog box. If word suggestion is the correct formula, then just click the OK button at the bottom of the formula dialog box to accept it and insert the formula cell into the field. If it is not correct, you can click into the formula text box and enter the correct formula. Now after you've entered your desired formula into the formula text box, you can then use the Number Format drop-down to select a pattern for the display of the number. This is often useful when you want the result to have a specific number formatting. Note that in Word you can use the terms left, right, above, and below to refer to all of the adjacent cells in the row or column to the left of, to the right of, above or below the currently selected cell. This is simply a more convenient way of indicating the range of cells upon which you want the function to be performed. You can also designate a cell range by typing the cell address 
of the upper left cell in the range of cells upon which you want to perform the function, followed by the colon symbol, and then followed by the cell address of the lower right cell in the range of cells upon which you want to perform the calculation. For example, you could type equals sum open parenthesis a1 colon a4 into the formula text box in order to add the contents of the cells from a1 through a4. But what about the word sum? Sum is an example of a formula function. If you are only trying to perform one mathematical operation on a range of cells, you can use functions like sum, average, max, and min in your formula instead of writing out all of the cell addresses and mathematical operators individually. Word provides you with many standard functions in the Paste Function drop-down. Selecting any function from the list of functions shown in the drop-down's button list will add it to the formula shown in the formula text box. Once you have the Word formula created, you can then click the OK button to insert the formula field into the selected cell. The results of the formula will then be shown in the cell. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.